Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for iodine pentabromide. So here we go. The uh, formula for that is going to be IBr5, okay? And that's going to give us seven valence electrons from the iodine plus five bromines, each with seven valence electrons of their own, for a total of 42 valence electrons. Okay, we can subtract out the largest multiple of 8, which is going to be 40 in this case, leaving us with 2 electrons. Divide that by 2, it gives us one non bonding pair. And since 40 is equal to 8 times 5, that means that this is going to have an AX5 E1 structure, meaning that there is one central atom surrounded by five peripheral atoms, and the central atom also has one non bonding pair of electrons located on it. Alright, so let's go ahead and draw this structure. We have the iodine in the center surrounded by the five bromines. And we can go ahead and start by uh, single bonding all of the bromines to the central iodine. So single bond between all of these. And then we can also fill in each of the octets for the uh, peripheral bromines as well. That way they all have their eight electrons. All right, so that takes care of the AX5. Now we have to add on this E1, which means the non-bonding pair of electrons on the central iodine atom. So we'll just put that pair of electrons right there, okay? And that's, this is actually gonna be our final structure. But now we can go ahead and uh, verify that by checking the formal charges. So the formal charge on the central iodine is going to be the seven valence electrons brought in minus one, two, three, four, five bonds minus one, two non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. And then the formal charge on each of the bromines, and if you notice, they all have the same setup. They all have one single bond and six non-bonding electrons, so all of their formal charges will be the same. So their formal charge will be the seven valence brought in, minus one single bond, minus six non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. Multiply that by five because there are one, two, three, four, five of them. Add this up, overall formal charge of zero, which is what we need because this is not a charged particle or compound. Okay, uh, in terms of shape, when we have AX5E1 type of structure, your shape is gonna be called square pyramidal. Okay, so basically a pyramid that has a square base. Uh, and when you have that kind of shape, the bond angles are going to be approximately equal to 90 degrees. All right. Uh, in terms of hybridization, looking at the central iodine here, you have one, two, three, four, five, and six electron groups or uh, possible bonding sites. So that means we need six hybrid orbitals. So we're going to go with sp3d2 hybrid. So you have one S, three P's, and two D's for a total of six hybrid orbitals to match up with the six electron groups. And because of the fact that we have this non-bonding electron pair down here, that is going to make this a polar compound. All right, so that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.